Crash Bandicoot and Nintendo aren't strangers to one another. But the original trilogy of games have never appeared on any Nintendo console until now. Activision, along with Switch developer Toys for Bob, have resurrected the three original PlayStation titles and have melded them into one HD collection. These games are extremely faithful to their predecessors, which is both a good and a bad thing. The collection has HD remakes of the original Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex's Revenge, and Crash Bandicoot Warped. The first two games focus a lot on trial and error platforming. I can tell you this right now, you will die repeatedly, so stock up on lives. Warped offers a bit more variety in the gameplay department and is the most polished out of the three titles. All of them come out pretty early in the era of 3D platforming and it shows in terms of gameplay. I have to say, playing through these games were a nice throwback to the 1990s, but those feelings come at a price. 1996 was 22 years ago and controls for platforming titles have improved dramatically since its infancy. I can forgive these games for their ultra finicky controls and annoying death reception issues but it does make me pretty glad later platformers fix the issues that these games have. As for the Switch port of this collection, I am happy to say these games run really well. The HD upgrade is nicely crafted with each level looking detailed and vibrant in color. It also looks and runs great both in portable and TV mode. I was worried that there may be slowdown or frame rate issues since this title is being ported from a more powerful console but everything runs extremely smoothly, making this a perfect port if you're looking for something on the go. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is a fun collection of titles filled with nostalgia value, presented in a wonderful looking HD package. It runs well and overall is a perfectly competent platformer. If you can forgive that some aspects of these games haven't aged well in the last 20 years, then this can be a pretty fun throwback experience.